Alexandra Jonsson for UEFA speaking to Graham Hansen. Uh, for the second game in a row, you're the player of the match. What do you have to say about that? Uh, I have a good team with uh, fantastic teammates. And uh, yeah, when, when you are playing in a team like that, it's easy to be good. Uh, so uh, it could have been anyone out there today. It was a fantastic game. And uh, of course, Real Madrid is giving us a fight. But I think that was just a really good show for the, for the fans, for the neutral ones, for, for our fans that we're bouncing back and scoring a lot of goals in the end. And what was it like playing in front of more than 91,000 at Camp Nou? It was surreal. One thing is to play like in a full house, but they, they were fans for 90 minutes. They were not stop uh, singing uh, at any moment. They were just pushing us, they were supporting us, and they were having a party for 90 minutes. And it was amazing. It was a dream come true. And you saw after the game, people didn't go home. They were just enjoying the moment with us. And I was just so grateful to be a part of it uh, on and off the pitch uh, here today. Uh, it was a dream come true. and. Uh, before the game, it was very hard to expect how it was going to be because you didn't, didn't even know if it was going to be full. You just heard that it was sold out and then in the end everybody has to come and then people show up and make this uh, support and party for us. And I hope we made them happy uh, out of our performance on the field today. And what does it mean for, for women's football to have a full stadium like this today and you have such an incredible game at the same time? Uh, I, I hope that people see that uh, <laughs> women's football is sellable. It's always the argument that we, don't, we are not sellable. And today we, we, we prove them wrong, both that it's possible to sell out Camp Nou and it's possible to play a good game and it's possible to... To, uh, to make people want to come back. And I think that's so important. Uh, and I hope that it's going to be a before and after uh, 30th of March uh, 2022. And you said before that the Real Madrid really competed with you today. What was it that made the difference that, that you could win this game in the end? The way I, I, I think goals, goals is a part of football. And they have two chances, and not even two chances, two half chances. Uh, one penalty that they get on a handball can happen, uh, shouldn't happen, and then <laughs> the second goal was a fantastic chip. Like, yeah, whenever do you score a goal like this in your career? Uh, so ha ha hats off for that. And uh, the goals are, of course, uh, making the nerve in the game staying a bit longer than it maybe should have today. We have our chances in the first half, and when we scored 2-2 right after, I, I wasn't scared that it would go any way forward and back because we had pretty much control all over the game today, much more than we had in the first game. But as I said, goals is a part of football and you have to make them happen if you want to win. And now, how do you see the rest of the tournament for, for you? Uh, step by step, uh, we have to uh, take one step at a time. First, we have to see who we meet of uh, Wolfsburg and Arsenal. It's going to be tough either way. Uh, it's a semi-final and everybody wants to fight for, for the final. And um, hopefully we can be in the final in Turin in the uh, end of May. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.